Hi guys, welcome to Andy Animates. In today's tutorial, I'm going to take you through this new eye rig I created for this character. Now, on my left, we have the default eye rig. So I'm just going to zoom into this so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to select this bone and I'm going to take this down to about this point. Now you can see this eye is good and all, but there's limitation to these eyes because no matter the expressions you try to create for this character, the eyes or the eyelids is still enclosed within the circle of the eye and then this doesn't allow you to get some expressions for your character okay so i'm just going to take this out of the scene delete this and now if i try to create a the blink animation that i have over here if i bring this down you can see how the blink animation looks it doesn't look too good i'm just going to undo that and now we're going to test out the new eye rig i created for this eye rig if i take this bone down i could create this expression i could take this up like this i could create another expression do the same here as well like this just create multiple expressions very very easily and if i delete all the keyframes from the timeline and I use the blink animation here, like this. And I do the same for the default eye on the left. And I just render this. You can see how this is going to come out. And now you would realize that the eye rig we have on the right part of my screen is a lot more neater. And this gives us more expressions for our characters. With all of this said, let's get started on this tutorial. So right now we already have the face of the character already drawn up. So we're going to use a reference image in order to create the eye for this character. If you want to also use this reference image to follow along, you could head over to our Discord channel. The link will be in the description of this video. This is the reference image we're going to be using for this tutorial. And now we're going to create a layer for the character's eyes. So I'm just going to create a new vector layer and I'm going to call this eye. Okay. And now I'm going to hit S on my keyboard to go to the shape select tool and I'm going to select the oval tool. I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what I'm going to be doing. Then I'm going to drag this across my screen like this. I'm going to hit T and I'm going to put the points to match the reference image of this character. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, now is the best time to subscribe. So now we have the eye already created. We're going to hit Q and make sure you have the shape select tool selected and I'm going to select the eye we just drew. I'm going to then change this to the style panel and I'm going to remove the stroke from the eye. Then we're going to create another layer and we're going to call this the pupil of the character. So I'm going to just write pupil. And now I'm going to hit S, make sure you have the shape tool selected, make sure you still have the oval selected and we're going to drag out another oval to about this point. We're going to hit T and then we're going to match the points to the reference image we have. I'm going to hit Q, that's the shape select tool and I'm going to select the pupil we just drew. I'm going to change the fill to color black and I'm going to remove the stroke from the pupil. So I'm just going to zoom in so you can see what I'm going to be doing next. Now, if you look at the character's pupil very well, you could actually see a white dot or white highlight over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw that and we're going to clip that within the pupil of the character. I'm going to hit S and I'm going to drag out another oval to about this point. I'm going to hit T and I'm going to try to adjust this with the reference image. Then I'm going to hit Q and select the oval we just added to the pupil. And we're going to change the fill to color white. Then we're going to disable the stroke. I'm then going to select the shade we just added to the pupil and I'm going to clip this to the character's pupil. If I hit T, hit Ctrl A and have the whole pupil selected. If I try to move the pupil out of the eye, you can see the pupil just moves out of the boundary of the eye and this is not what we want for this tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to mask the pupil to stay within the character's eyes. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the pupil and the eye layer and we're going to put this into a group. I'm going to call this group eye and I'm going to double click on that. Head over to where we have masking and I'm going to click on hide all since the eye doesn't have a stroke there's no need for us to exclude strokes from this now if i go to the pupil layer hit t and i move this you can see it's enclosed within the character's eyes now the next thing we want to create is 
the eyelid for this character but before we do that we have to create a mask for the character's eyes so what we're going to do is we're going to create another layer and we're going to rename this to be called mask and you want to make sure the mask layer is going to be below the eye layer then we're going to hit s and we're going to select the rectangle tool this time i'm going to drag out a rectangle to about this point at the top and i'm going to do the same at the bottom as well now what we're going to do for this rectangles we just drew i'm going to select this point place this here select this point place this one here and keep in mind i'm using the reference image to know the positions of this point i'm going to hit a and i'm going to add one point here just drag this up to about this point I'm going to hit C and increase the curvature. Just try to match this with the reference image of the character. And we're going to do the same for the lower eye as well. Now we have the mask for the lower part and the upper part already created. We're just going to select the whole mask that is ctrl a i'm going to hit ctrl c to copy this to our clipboard then we're going to paste this in a new layer we're going to create so i'm going to create a new layer and i'm going to rename this layer to be called eyelid okay and for the eyelid layer it's going to be above the eye layer then i'm going to hit ctrl v and paste what we copied to the clipboard into the eyelid layer we're going to hide the mask layer and Make sure you are on the eyelid layer. Now we're on the eyelid layer. I'm going to hit D for the delete stroke tool. And we're going to delete this stroke, this stroke, this stroke as well. But we're not going to delete this one over here. We're going to do the same for the top as well. Just delete those three strokes and then keep the one around the eyes still in place. Then the next thing we want to do is to just hide our reference image because we don't need that right now. I'm going to hit Ctrl A. And I'm going to hit W and I'm going to increase the width of the character's eyelids. Just try to match this with the one we have over here. Then I'm going to select the points or the tapers at the end of each of these strokes. And I'm going to reduce the strokes a bit. Do the same here as well. Do the same here as well. Do the same here as well. I'm going to select this stroke and I'm going to change the color to match the character stroke. And I'll do the same for the top as well. So now we have this. The eye is looking very, very nice. Now we're going to add in bones so we can mask this and create the full character's eyes. I'm going to bring back the mask into the scene. But before we move on, I'm going to select the three layers. That is the mask layer, the eye layer, and the eyelid layer. And I'm going to put this into a group. I'm going to rename this group and call this eye and then I'm going to double tap on that go to where we have masking and I'm going to select reveal all okay and apply that now you can see the eyelid of the character isn't visible anymore so we're going to come to the eyelid layer we head over to where we have masking and then we're going to click on don't mask this layer so that will still be visible for the scene the next thing we're going to do is to add in our bones my character already has bones so i don't need to convert this into a bone layer but if you don't have your character already converted to a bone layer you could just right click on this and then go to where we have convert to bone I'm going to then come over here hit a and i'm going to be using the bones coordinates tool and i'm going to select the eyelid i'm going to select this point get the position at the bone do the same here as well get the position at the bone do the same here get the position at the bone here as well so now we have these bones added into the scene we're going to rename them i'm going to select this this and this and i'm going to call this the upper eyelid eyelid right and then we're going to select the lower ones and we're going to rename this and call this lower eyelid okay. then i'm going to hit a and i'm going to add a bone sorry let's make sure we're on the bone group i'm going to hit a and i'm going to add a bone to about this point and i'm going to do the same for the bottom as well make sure you have these bones that we just added not parented to any bones because these are going to be control bones of the upper and the lower eyelid i'm going to select this and i'm going to rename this to be called upper 
I lead control and this is going to be called lower I lead control then I'm going to select all the bones for the upper eyelid and I'm going to parent this to the upper eyelid control bone and I'll select the bones of the lower eyelid and parent them to the lower eyelid control bone. I'm going to hit A and I'm going to add another bone into the scene. Now this bone is going to be for the character's eyes so we're going to rename this to be called eye and we're going to create another bone and we're going to put this for the character's pupil. We're going to rename this to be called Pupil. And the Pupil is going to be parented to the character's eyes. And the upper eyelid control and the lower eyelid control are going to be parented to the character's eye bone as well. Then now it's time to bind our points correctly. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to select this bone over here. And I'm going to bind this to this point of the eyelid. Select this one, bind this to this as well. Select this and bind this to this as well. Then we're going to do the same for the lower eyelid. Bind this to this. Bind this to this as well. And bind this to this also. Then we're going to go to our mask layer. And I'm going to select this point for the mask. Bind this to that. Select this, bind this to that. Select this and bind this to that as well. Then we'll do the same for the lower part. Bind this to this. Bind this to this. And bind this to this as well. Now we still have some points over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the control bone. And I'm going to bind these two points of the upper eyelid mask to this and I'm going to select this and I'm going to bind these two points to the lower eyelid control bone. Then we're going to go back to our bone layer. I'm going to hit control A, hit S and I'm going to reduce the strength of all the bones. Then I'm going to select the eye bone. Make sure you go back to the eye layer, hit I and I'm going to bind all of the points of the eyes to the eye bone. Then we're going to go to the pupil. Make sure you're on the pupil layer, hit I, bind all the points of the pupil to the pupil bone. So now when we have all of this, we can test out our rig. I'm going to move to frame one, hit T and I'm going to take this down and you can see how this moves very, very nicely. And you can do the same for the lower parts as well. So very, very nice. And we can also move the character's pupil and we could move the eye very, very easily. You could also use the control bone to take the eye down as well very very nice so if you enjoyed this video please do subscribe to our channel and i'll see you on the next one guys